Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is another Raid Shadow Legends video. So this is a video where I take over one of my subscribers who won the 3,000 subs award. So basically, I've awarded two people the chance to have a kind of free full account overview tune-up. Um, this was actually a guy in YouTube called Elemental Flight. In game, he's called Dead, uh, and he's basically—I mean, he was—he was kind of stoked that he'd won the chance for me to kind of delve into the account. I said, look, no promises, mate. I'm going to do the best I can. <laughs> um, yeah, so look, basically what he said to me was, he's on Nightmare Clan Boss. He gets an average tier of about 15 million. He's had a personal best at about 20 and a half million. And within his clan, so his clan is called Helm's Deep. Um, ranked 675, so pretty decent. Within his clan, they basically have set themselves a target of being able to down Nightmare Clan Boss by the 22nd of December and they're struggling to do it at the moment so if we have a quick look at where they are looks like we've got uh, yeah so they're hitting a number of different bosses so actually we've got a few people that are too key in it which is good and obviously we've got some others which are kind of close I think probably yes yeah, so if you look here dead he's actually done 17.7 .7 million earlier today so that's a kind of fairly normal run Looking at his team comp, it's actually pretty solid. So, Jared, Razin, Steel Skull, Skull Crusher, Septimus. If I think about my clan boss video that I released yesterday, you know, we've got our attack down and defense up and ally protection in this guy. We've got weaken and defense down, decreased defense in this guy. We've got a poisoner and defense up and heals in this guy. We've got a counter attack and ally protection in this guy. And then we've got a debuff extender. In Septimus, in Septimus. So, you know, all of the, all of the kind of vital ingredients for Clan Boss are here. Um, yeah, I'd say pretty much everything that we would want to be putting on the Clan Boss is there within this team. So, it then comes down to, are we geared right? Pretty much, you know, have we got the right gear? Are we running at the right speeds? That type of thing. So, that's interesting. Um, the other thing he's asked me to do is to try and help him with spiders. So. He said he's kind of hard stuck on spiders. He's clearing what? Way 13. Very quickly, actually. Who's he? That? In Royal Guards. As it looks like he's going AoE, AoE, speed lead, uh, decrease turn meter, and then um, I think this guy's got an AoE as well. So, yeah, so it looks like he's kind of got himself a, a team set up for this, but for whatever reason, that's not getting any further. So, we can do a bit of work there. Again, it'll just be a kind of gearing thing. Uh, let's just have a quick snoop around. So actually, yeah, okay, so we've got a great haul. Which actually, so he's developed massively the accuracy, which is the right thing to do. What I would say is, you know, maybe get everything up to level 1, 2, 3, um, early game, and then focus on your one that you're going to push up to level 10. But actually, you gain quite a lot of stats, you know, 2% here, 3% there. It starts to mount up when you've got people in clan boss and other parts of the game. So... I see he's kind of held onto a load. He's probably going for level 10 somewhere, which I understand because it's one of the missions. But for me, I would probably just put a bit more work into the base level. I'm not going to do that today because he's obviously saving for a reason, but I definitely would do that. So let's have a look at his roster. Uh, let's see what we're working with here today. We already know that he's got a clan boss team. We just saw that a minute ago. So that's pretty nice. He's also got... In terms of trying to do that spider, Royal Guard, which is good. We've got Alessandra sitting there as 50. We've got an um, Apothecary, which is nice, Foley. Looks like we've got some good champions there, that's good. Also got a Seeker in there, I just saw actually. Seeker. Yes, yeah, so we've got some speed, albeit he's a 40, he could still be useful to us. Um, and then in the Vault, okay, so we've got a host of legendaries here in the Vault, a few of which are 50s. He did say he's got some food. Yeah, here we go. Got some fives in food. And he said, if I want to level up one more, crack on sort of thing. So we need to make a decision. I don't think anyone that I'm seeing here... Have a quick look further down. Yeah, so I'm not seeing anyone I think is going to drastically improve his clan boss in that set. So we're probably going to end up needing someone that's going to help us on Spider. What I'm going to do is just, just have a quick sort of overview of, of how he's got people geared. So we know that we've got Jared as the lead at the moment for his clan boss team. What I tend to do is I tend to look at somebody's main stats. And what I'm looking for for clan boss is what HP level are they on? What defense level are they on? What speed are they at? 
and have they got enough accuracy? They're the four things that I care about first. Anything aside from that then becomes a bonus. So obviously because he doesn't have like someone like a bad L, you know, an, an all-out healer in this team, he needs to be in lifesteal gear, which he's got here. Um, at the moment, his HP is very good, and I understand that. Jared is a HP champion. His defense is a bit low. Uh, I would probably push one of these things into HP. Oh, he's got that. Uh, sorry, defense. Because getting flat stats against a low-ish base defense on these type of rings is actually your best way to go to build up defense on a low de uh, defense person. I'd say perhaps I would swap that out for a defense ring or a defense amulet. Speed is too high for Nightmare Clan boss. So Nightmare you want to be somewhere between 171 and 189. He's currently at 192, so he's kind of more set up for ultimate nightmare. Um, his accuracy is good. So then I'd do the same thing with Razin, I'd say right, HP looks good, defense, it's not bad, but I'd say I'd probably would like to see that over 4k. His speed is a bit too high. Um no actually no speed's fine. Uh, his accuracy is way too low. Yeah, and that's the kind of thing I do. So I'll just go through each one, um, and I, I'm kind of just saying, you know, are we at where we want to be for speed? So his speed's too high. Fence feels a little bit low. Uh, he's got a lot of damage here, which is nice. He's got a bit too much accuracy. Actually, a lot of that comes from his great hall, so we can't do too much with that. Uh, and that's that's systematically what I'm doing. So I'm just kind of looking at them, and I'm saying, right, where do I think I can get the benefits? Okay, so at the moment, what I've done is I've gone through all of the gear that's in the inventory. Uh, basically what we've got is 278 pieces which are just of no use to us because of the type of rolls they've got on them or we've already got a lot of a set and it's just nowhere near as good as the other items we've got I just want to show you an example of kind of an area here which I'm doing so I'm just filtering out pieces which we just never would use and I've kind of still got a lot of pieces to use in kind of areas of the game which are really important to us like lifesteal, speed, accuracy I'll just show you and a number of chests here and some of these have been rolled on so we've got here flat, flat stat defense we've got here flat stat hp which has been rolled up to 14 we've got here flat stat defense rolled up to 13 you might well have done these early game look i'm not i'm not trying to point fingers all i'm saying is don't roll these items this is much better this is much better percentage stats is what we want or flat resistance flat Accuracy is kind of worth keeping, but as it stands, you know, I know he's got a lot of chests and that out, but there's none of these that are worth keeping. It's not even worth keeping just because you're like, well, what if I need the set bonus? Never roll on those items. Same sort of thing with gloves, I think. So um, it would just got a number of pack percentages, but look here, flat stat, bent, rolled right up to 16. It's just, it's just a poor way of doing it. Always, you're better off farming more energy or farming campaign even to get a level five green. With defense percentage than rolling up a blue with flat defense. I'm going to sell off those 7.6 7 million. So that's another load of cash in the bank. So I've gone through all of those items. Um, I'm going to now kind of go through the gear that I've got on the champs and I'm also going to go through all of the accessories and basically do the same thing. So I've done the same thing here in accessories and Yowza, we've got nearly 11 million worth of accessories. Look how much this guy had farmed. Um, credit to you, Dad. You've really put the work in to get some decent gear here. So, you know, there's going to be massive improvements. But yeah, we're going to get rid of all of this. And then we're actually now ready to start gearing champions. So I'm probably a good, at least a couple of hours in, actually, in terms of deep dive into this account. This is the bit that takes time, is you know, making sure we've got the right gear ready to use. We've got, we've got a reasonable number of gear now and yeah, let's crack on. What I'm going to show you is by account I'm going to do a before and after. So we've got Skull Crusher here. My aim is to get him down to 171 speed, pick up his defense and uh, ideally keep the HP at least 30k, uh, remove any accuracy that I can. So the main goal is speed right, defense right, remove accuracy and then after that I'll see if I can get any crit damage going. Okay, so this is my finished build now on Stroll Crusher. What I've done is I've increased his HP by about 6k. I've increased his defense by about 450. I've reduced his speed by about 25. Got him down to around that 171 mark, just one over. Uh, his crit rate's gone up 6%. His crit damage has gone up about 20% or so. And I brought the accuracy down about 10. 
Uh, so if I show you what he's in, so he's still in a life still set. Got defense still on his gloves, defense on his chest. I've kept him in speed boots because these boots have actually got a nice defense roll. Um, and then I've got two defense items, which obviously one's got a really nice roll here on HP. Um, and yeah, so basically what I was doing here was I figured, well, I'm already fast enough. I can't get, I can't get rid of the speed boots on this one. So what I'd rather do then is bring defense items in because I get an extra 15% of his defense as the bonus. So it's just kind of using the bits that I've got as well as I can really. Uh, so this is now quite a nice setup. I think he'll be much stronger for my kind of um, initial counter attacker. Let's move on to someone else. Uh, actually, so yeah, let me show you who we're going to move on to. Let's do my attack down guy. So Jared is going to be my attack down. Again, we're too fast. We've got loads of HP, which is nice. Not much defense uh, and okay accuracy. There's not too much to do here. So all I'm going to do is just try and make it um, more usable, really, for the speed setup that I'm going for. And then see if I can kind of grow some of this stuff. So let me show you his overall stats. And then we'll kind of come back to this with a finished overall stats shortly. Okay, so just about finished doing Jareg. Um, so what I've done is I've just kind of changed his, his gear around a bit. Got the set bonus on the speed. I've put him in HP percentage boots, which got a nice roll on speed. Still in HP chest, a HP set of gloves. I've moved a bit of defense. Oh, he's still got HP ring, sorry. I've moved some defense into his amulet because his, his base defense was just a bit low. So although he's got all this HP, he would still go down too easily as he was. So just moved a bit of defense onto his setup. Um, so if I show you his overall stats now, we've basically grown what 10k HP. We've grown about 300 defense, reduced our speed into the right zone. We've got a little bit more crit rate, a little bit more crit damage, and we've got about the same accuracy. So all in all, really positive change. He'll survive much longer with that setup. Um, so that is Jareg done and dusted. Let's go on to Razin. So Razin, I've already taken a couple of pieces off, so it's hard to show you now where he was, but he was about 3.3k fence. He was too fast, and his accuracy was nowhere near where it needed to be. So let's have a play around with Razin. Okay, so I've played around with Razin. Um, pretty tough one, actually, because I'm short of boots that have got a bit of a speed roll, but I managed to get him up to... Total stats of nearly 5k defense, so that's about 1500 more than where we were, a little bit more HP than where we were. Speed is slightly faster than the Skull Crusher, so he's still speed tuned right. Just over 50% crit, which is nice. Uh, his accuracy is a, a bit low, 168. Uh, the reason being is we don't have an accuracy banner, so I've kind of had to push the accuracy in items. So I looked for an, an amulet with my best accuracy roll. I got a weapon with a Good, I've uh, got a weapon with some accuracy, a good accuracy roll on gloves, is it? Yeah, the gloves, 30 odd. So I was basically looking for, and then another 30 odd on the boots. I was looking for where can I get my accuracy aside from the banner, still be able to kind of stack that high defense, which is what we want to keep him going as long as possible through the game. So he's in a really good shape. Um, that's two, and uh, that's three out of five done. Uh, let's keep going. I think what should we do next? Let's do. We've done one, two, and I haven't done steel skull. Steel skull will be next. I've already ro uh, robbed some gloves off him, so we won't see his full stats. I think he was defense gloves, so they were about 1200. But on this one, the accuracy is too high, speed's way too high, um, and yeah, I just want to get more defense back onto him. And probably try and get back into life steel set. Uh, let's just make sure we've got masteries done here. Yeah. Yeah, so life steel set will be good because every time he props warm master, he'll go back up to. Full HP. But yeah, play on him now. Okay, here we go. Steel Skull is finished. So if you see, let me put up his total stats. So he's at 179, so he's going to be probably the quickest in the team, but that's fine because he's my poisoner. Don't mind him going faster, but he's still within the speed tuning setup. Way more defense, nearly 3k defense, which will be massive for us in terms of him staying alive. 41k HP is nice. Okay, crit and crit damage, that's not really what we care about main thing we care about is still keeping it around 230 so good overall stats here pleased with that again we've kind of gone for defensive sort of boots so he's actually got defense boots he's got defense chest and he's got HP percentage gloves uh, and then I've just kind of rolled the speed set to give him enough speed and I've got a nice speed roll on a couple of these items 
I put him in defense um, ring, defense amulet, and then he's got a big accuracy banner. So all in all, really good setup for him. Pleased with that one. So we just got Septimus to go. Okay, this is Septimus and where he is to start with. So we've got, again, too much speed, very low defense, pretty low HP, very high accuracy, way high crit rate. So again, we're just going to try and tune him up so that he's right for Nightmare Clan Boss. Coming back soon. Okay, so here we go. Final die for Clan Boss is finished. I have pushed up his HP, pushed up his defense by quite a lot. Speed has come down. Uh, we've got OK crit rate still, and we've got good accuracy. So, all in all, uh, and he's in what's he got? Defense gloves, HP chest, and he's still got speed boots, but again, I've got some defense roll on there. Is this, this is an ideal, I'd rather have defense boots, but we didn't have the gear to quite make it work for the fifth member. So it turned out we've got two guys that have stayed in speed boots, but I've massively improved their defenses. So I feel like we are good to go for a trial run on clan boss. Uh, so if we remember, just remind ourselves where we were. I'm probably a good for like three hours into this, by the way, just for if anyone's interested to know how long this type of process takes. We've actually moved on to red affinity boss, which isn't ideal. I would like to show you this as a neutral affinity, but let's see here. So beforehand we hit 17.77 million. Going to go in, same lineup as what he was using before, but I've now just kind of geared them properly. And let's get into it. Okay, so here we go. Here's a the setup then. So we've got Septimus is too... He's my fastest and probably shouldn't be my fastest, but that's fine once we get going. So he's got a passive that uh, each attack's got a 30% chance of increasing the duration of all debuffs on the target. Um, so he's just going to auto for now. Basically, with Steel Skull, you want to get A1s going as soon as you can and try and get these poisons on. Direct, you've got the A1, which does decrease attack. It lands, and then we've got the A2 for Razin that puts this decreased defense and weaken on. Obviously, Skull Crusher's just there for the counter attacks. So, everyone's speed tuned up so that they're going to get their two counter attacks each time. Razin should clear off that buff each time, which is good. And then, really, it's just to kind of rinse and repeat. And we want Septimus to pretty much start laying in some extended debuffs for us. Um, so, we don't need to really worry about his support for now. All we're doing is just going to lay into the boss until we start to get some damage on us. Uh, everyone's in life still gear, so we should be healing up nice and full. The everyone's got their second counter attack because we're speed tuned. Speed tuning is the biggest part of this, and then the aim is that Septimus is going to just extend debuffs. He's done it there, and every time he gets that extension away, we're in a better shape basically. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to run this through now. We're a minute in. I'm going to run it through and then come back to you when we're close to the end. Okay, so we're coming towards the end of the fight. We've lost two now, but we're 14 odd minutes in. We've had poisons and, and kind of full diva buffs up for most of the fight, so that's been going well. Um, and yeah, basically we've just been kind of running it through. All I'm going to try and do now is just sort of keep up somebody that I think is going to live the longest, which might well be Steel Skull. He's got three ticks of this fence buff up. Uh, could be Razin as well, actually. That is gone. Yeah, that's cool. And that's probably it. So let's see what damage we've done. So first time trying it, 31.64 million. So the previous personal best from Dead um, was 20.5 million. I've just creamed that by 10 million purely by putting decent gear on the guys. And that was by no means a, a kind of flawless run. We didn't have poisons stacked the whole time. Um, but look at the damage Razin's done here, look at the damage Steel Scroll's done, Septimus. Um, so yeah, really, really good run actually. Uh, really pleased with that. So, you know, he's not actually that far off one key in this, to be fair. But overall, I think we've moved from Nightmare, an average of sort of 15 to 17 million a key, getting the first hit in over 30 million, so basically doubling damage. Um, when you're doubling damage against Nightmare, that's pretty insane. So yeah, really pleased with that. That's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to come back and do the dungeon episodes on this account uh, tomorrow. So hopefully you guys can check that out as well. But yeah, I've been Hell Hades. This is my channel Addicted to Gaming. 
Thanks for tuning in.